Hi, everybody. Justine Frolker, author, speaker, corporate trainer, certified Daring Way, and Dare to Lead facilitator. Um, boundaries. So the simple definition that we use in the curriculum is what's okay and what's not okay. And I have had this video topic on my heart for over a week, and I've been too scared to record it, and I am um, just going to record it. So simple boundaries. First off, the easy boundaries for me to talk about. Boundaries around your sleep. You, you still need to go to bed at a decent time. You still need to get up at a decent time, even though we are at home. Boundaries around technology, setting timers when you're on technology, um, setting app blockers when you're on technology, not, t not checking media first thing in the morning or last thing before sleep, um, not spending your lunch hour scrolling, 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 and connected to media all of the time, setting a timer with that. Setting boundaries around work, you cannot work as long as you could be working, as long as you may need, like feel like you need to or have to be working right now just because you are at home and could be doing it remotely because we all are doing it remotely, those of us who are working still. And so like boundaries around that. The part of the boundaries that I have been too scared to record and I got some encouragement from some of my, my friends who are parents are the boundaries in regard to your relationships, especially to your children. I know that they're bored, and I know that they're feeling a lot of things. I know you are too. It is extremely important for your children to see you setting boundaries for your relationship, for yourself, that mom and dad need time that is adult-only time, that they see you taking care of your relationship that they see you, if you are a single parent, taking care of yourself and having time that is adult time. Of course, this needs to be for age-appropriate children and when they are safe and taken care of. It is okay, parents. Give yourself permission to set boundaries around your kids. They can learn how to entertain themselves. They can learn that adults need time to refill. When you show them that, they learn it for themselves when they are adults. One of my, my friend Vince, I just did a, his podcast, The Happy Place, and he was like, we call, I think he said he called, him and his wife call it, mom and pop shop is closed. And when mom and pop shop is closed, his kids know that they're on their own. Unless someone is bleeding, they, they're, they're on their own, right? If we don't set boundaries in this time of what's okay and what's not okay in regards to sleep, technology, work, relationships, food, exercise, binge watching TV, our brain will probably default to um, numbing, avoiding, and escaping, over functioning, over entertaining, perfectionism, things like that because we're in a lot of uncertainty right now. And so give yourself permission to set boundaries. It will help. And because I will speak the unspoken, correct. I can't have kids. You are wondering how you're gonna survive this time with your children and I am wondering what it would have been like to have seven-year-olds during this time. Neither one is better or worse or harder because when we compare it, we are even more alone in it and we are alone enough as it is. What I know for sure with over 20 years of experience in mental health and an expert in courage and resilience is that your children learn so much from struggling because then they learn how to rise and they also learn so much the most perhaps when they see you modeling out the tough work of courage and empathy and boundaries show it to them show it to them thanks for being here i'll see you next time new video every day, or you can check out all of them on my YouTube or um, my website, justinefolker.com. See you next time.